Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Midway Region. I'm Tinbeck. In case you didn't know, it's kind of plastered everywhere. <laughs> We're here in Vecville, as so named by the audience. And, um,. We're going to put in another casino here. We're also going to put in some other stuff. What that stuff is yet, not 100% sure. But we'll figure it out. So, start with the thing I know. And that's casino. And, oh, we, we're going to need, this is, this is some of the stuff. We need, need another attraction. and We'll figure that out in a minute here. Now, I would like to have something that has... Medium and high wealth. Like perhaps the Roman luck. Yeah, because this has high wealth gambling capacity. So let's actually figure out if we can fit a monument that we like next to here. I really wanted the Eiffel Tower. Colonel Dome's big. No, oh, it's really big. It's a little bigger than I thought. Uh, I don't want to run any events. This is big too, though. Yeah, a little too big still. Stockholm City Hall. Eh. I don't know that I really like that. We could do like a Vegasy thing and put the Statue of Liberty. That's so small, I feel like I'm wasting space. I do like the Tokyo Tower, but it's only a medium tourist attraction. And I kind of want to just like populate this whole area with high tourist attractions. Hmm. Oh, there we go. St. Basil's Cathedral. Is that a high? No, it's a medium. Damn it. <laughs> Foiled again. Um, this one holds things, events. Things, it's a technical term. This is small. <sighs> this is still too small. Still too small. You know, we could just do Brandenburg Gate and do it somewhere like over here. And then we can zone some commercial on the back side here. Yeah, because we'll still be able to fit a high density building there. Let's do that since I know for a fact that's where I'm going to have that. Then let's put this other casino in. And maybe we'll just put them both right here. Hmm. No, maybe I actually want to zone commercial here. I know I don't often do zone on avenues, but this is an exception to the rule. And then we'll put the high wealth over here. Yeah, let's do the Roman luck. Looks cool. And maybe we can put something interesting in the middle there. Let's see here. I think we're just going to do the two penthouse suites. And then... Ooh, that's really big. Although, if I do it sideways like that, it's like it attaches. That's actually kind of cool. At, hang on, two seconds. Cat's messing with the box. Get out of here. Hey, hey, come here. Come on. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there's a box from that was from Amazon that's sitting here that the stupid cat wanted to mess with. <laughs> I kind of like this. And I think it'll work the way that it's supposed to.
and then we'll put the Baccarat rooms back here. Uh, too far from building. Hmm. That's annoying. I don't like putting it over here. Alright. Maybe. Let's do it this way. Because this is going to go here. Uh, whoops, we already have the penthouses. We want back around. Back here. And then we'll put this, I guess, over here. Now, do I want a third casino is the question. I think I do, but it's going to cost a lot of money. Like, per hour, it's going to cost a lot of money. Let's see, some exclusive club, penthouse suite that I can't put because I don't have any of these. So this will have to house a few medium, whoops, medium wealth gamblers. Oh, I can stack these on top? Interesting. So maybe what we do, instead, since we're trying to classify this for, for high wealth, by the way, I make no guarantees on this city working. I'll just build it. <laughs> oh, of course there's not one that's perfectly centered. Maybe we'll just put the tower off to the side. Like this. And I'd have to put one over here, or mess with that. Maybe what we'll do is, well, I'm debating. <laughs> I don't think I could fit three in here pretty much no matter what. I think this is too big, yeah. I would I, You would think I could go just a little bit farther this way, but apparently not. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, because that's not going to be taken up by anything else. Yeah, that'll look good. And then we'll use one of these. Eh, I don't want to use up the space. We'll do this. And of course, we'll zone some commercial here. Huh. Spot there. And then we'll zone some commercial here. And back here. So, we have one more attraction to put in. Or one, one more uh, landmark, I should say, because the, I have other attractions, but... Hmm... Hey, Boo-Boo, I'm good. How are you doing? This 
I wish this weren't so big. It's so cool looking, but it's so giant. I mean, look, this thing is huge. Mm-hmm. No, maybe with that. This is still medium. Medium. Hmm. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah. It actually fits pretty nicely. Make sure whoops, no little zones messing it up there. Oh, it's 2.38 a.m. Well, sorry for that, boo-boo. I didn't realize it was that late. <laughs> And I believe we're ready to turn this city on. We're going to lose a bunch of money for a while. But we'll see how quickly we can make it back. Did we ever put in a town hall? I don't think we ever put in a town hall. It's not approved. Okay. Oh, because we haven't run the city for long enough. So with Town Hall, I don't know, we can put it up here or something. It'd be kind of neat. I thought, I was thinking I was going to put my Mayor's Mansion up there, but I kind of want to steal some of this real estate for that. I think I should be able to fit it there. It's just a guess. We can move it if we need. Oh, well, Boo Boo, I'm glad you, you watch on uh, on YouTube as well, so thank you. Yes, yes, we already named it. Oh, never put in bus anything. Well, we put the bus in, but we didn't put the stupid things in. I was waiting until I had the road network done, and then I forgot. So, let's see, do I feel like even actually planning a route out for these buses? Not particularly. So, we're just going to do this. I do it on alternate sides of the road, mostly just superstition. I feel like it picks up tourists just, or, or well, tourists and, and uh, residents just a little bit better. I feel like that's mostly because, you know, the, the, the bus can come from either direction and pick somebody up somewhere. It doesn't really have to turn around. I don't know. Like I said, it's mostly superstition, I'm sure. There we go. Now there shouldn't be any need for them over here. Uh, we will put some over here just for the workers to get over there even more easily. But we are going to want bus stops. See, this is going to have a medium wall. Actually, these are all going to have a little bit of medium wall. We'll put bus stops in front of each one of those. And then we'll start doing our alternating thing over here. Oh, uh, yeah, Boo Boo's commenting on my my negative income rate. Um, whether I'll go positive before before <laughs> before I need to go steal some money or not. Um, probably not. We'll we'll see we'll see how it goes. I, I only have four million in the bank here, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see.
I know a lot of this is high wealth stuff, so not a lot of people are going to take these buses, but it's okay. And this is all going to be high wealth down here, so we're not even going to worry about bussing that out. Uh, except I will put one in front of here, and in, I will put these here, and... Oh, come on. I don't want to do that side. Alright. Actually, that's really what I should do over here. Since this is going to be low off anyway, or low density anyway. Eh, whatever. I can have one there too. Same over here. Second one. Huh, that fits in really nicely right there. Alright. And I don't, I think we'll put one, like, right over here. I want it to face the right way, though. There we go. Catch some people going out of town that way. Um, yeah, that should work. Do we need one here? Nah. That should be good. Alright, let's run the city. Watch it grow for a while. One place, I, or one thing I didn't exactly leave room for, but there is plenty of room around, is a gambling um, HQ, and I'm kind of thinking about putting it in here. Just, uh, you know, between the bridge or something. I think that'd look good. Let's just complain about water facilities closed, need workers. Yes, yes, they should should be commuting in and or growing in shortly. Um. But you know, by, before then, I should be purchasing water anyway. Same with sewage. Casino is close, yes. We need more people. I know. I'm working on growing them in. <clears throat> I could take the taxes down. I don't know if I can do that, though. <laughs> I mean, people are still moving in just fine. There's plenty of draw. We should get some commuters from other cities. Well, okay, yeah, they're commuting in for goods, but... Oh, we didn't really have that many unemployed in the other cities, either. That's right. I forgot about that. Hopefully we can get enough low wealth over here. Otherwise, we might have to go put some more wealth, some more residential in the other cities or something. What I should have done is just made this all residential. I shouldn't have gone for tourism at all. I should have done tourism up at the top of the hill here. That would have been cooler. Although, I don't know, this landscape's pretty good. So maybe, maybe what we'll do is, if we can't get enough people to work in this city, we'll go up to the top of the hill and we'll do this big residential low-wealth block with just a whole bunch of unemployment and they should all commute... At least enough to, to get the this side working. <laughs> Lots of buses. Well, and to be honest, I haven't put in parks yet, so everybody that grows in right now should be low wealth anyway. Which should help get us kick-started on, on population. Yeah, see, we're already at 2,000. We're already almost 10,000 an hour better than we were. I mean, we're still negative 50k, so <laughs> that's, that's, that's not, <laughs> that's still not good by any means, but uh, <clears throat> it's it's better than we were by 10,000, which is, you know, sizable chunk. Oh, 
and hopefully we shouldn't have a problem getting people into the city. As far as tourists go. Which, I mean, it doesn't look like we do. Let's see. This little thing seems to be working so far. Oh, that's the other thing we didn't do. Hey, hey Tommy. No, you're not too late. About 20 minutes. That's the other thing we didn't do, and we can let the city run while we do this, is we can take these down to medium density. Here's another little road uh, shortcut tool that I figured out the other day. Um, so, first of all, if you're on anything, or, or if you have nothing open, if you hold shift and hit R, that pulls up your road menu. If you hit R again, that's your road upgrade tool. Pretty helpful. I'm one of those people that I, I don't terribly bother to read documentation, especially on things like shortcuts, so I just kind of figure it out. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave this one as a high-density street. I'm okay with this being a, a, oops, with this being a, a stoplight intersection, because it's right next to this, and I don't, I'm, I'm okay with that. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do for all of these. There's going to be a lot of people going through there, but I think I like it better that way. This needs to be medium. This needs... This needs to do this. Get a line. Change the end, and then get rid of that. There. That ought to work. This should be okay over here. This needs some work, too. little interchange works good and people are using it in fact people are using all of our roads so none of it was really for not see if that upgrade fits where I thought it would oh put this on too uh, kind of that'll work I had meant to put it sideways but whatever we'll do it that way to negative 47, 46,000 an hour. Well, 46,9, so still really 47. And what is our this looking like? Everybody's getting happy pretty quick, actually. That's good. Lots of traffic in the bay. I like that. Negative 24,000. Really coming up on it. You know, Boo Boo, we might make it. <laughs> Chody Wolf was just relating to me a mistake that, that he made that I, too, have made many, many times. Uh, starting out a new city in a new region, you always do like low density roads, right? Because you want to save money. Well, he's waiting and waiting and waiting for these things to upgrade and wondering why the heck they're not upgrading. <laughs> and uh, 
uh, he did, like I said, the same thing that I've done many times. I forgot to upgrade the roads, so that happens. <laughs> it's okay, Chody Wolf. Oh, I didn't realize this was... This almost makes like a four-way intersection here. That's interesting. So this one's still losing money. This one's losing less money. And this one's still losing money. Okay. We are making money on uh, on our, our these things. Um, tourist attractions. Couldn't think of the word. All right, so negative thirty-three. We're working our way up. And everything actually has enough people to run now too. <clears throat> Got enough power from the region. Water can run, sewer can run. Nothing's really complaining about lack of workers yet. Oh, we need to um, go to the other cities and do this as well. We almost forgot about that. <laughs> it's okay, Boo Boo. If you want to go take a uh, take a nap, that's totally fine. You can always catch this stuff on YouTube. I know you like to watch live, but. Um, there are no parks yet, Tommy. I wanted to kickstart the population, so um, I, I'm going to leave them low wealth, let them grow in, uh, in uh, density, and then uh, I'm going to start upgrading them. Oh, plus, we can do this. And in fact, actually, let's do it one back from what they'll move, what they can really stand, so... Make a little extra money, and um, yeah, we're almost we're almost coming out positive on our city specialization, which which is perfect. And as soon as we start um, getting close, well. Let's see here. Maybe I will swap cities real quick. Yeah, let's jump over and let's let's volunteer some vehicles to this city. Plus, if you haven't seen the other cities lately, you get a little mini tour of this section of the region. There we are. This is the Omega Industrial Sector number two. It's basically, uh, it's got a lot of residential in the back here, but um, the center part is all resident, is all industrial. And um, there's a chunk of commercial and you know residential in the backs here. Um, so we need to Oh, we've got a lot of money in this city, too. Let's steal a little bit of money from this city while we're at it. Hey, sorry about that. I had to uh, had to mute the mic and talk to my wife real quick. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna steal a little bit of money from this city and send some. Let's check this out real quick here. No population. Oh wait, yeah, no workers. We do have. For some reason, it says freight is coming into here, which is weird, especially since this has no industrial. Transit connects. All right. Well, I suppose we can just to ensure. And let's send this guy all seven that we have left. 
And we can send him one of these and one of these. A couple of these and one of these. A couple of these. And we're not going to infect with Omega. And then we will gift him our three million. Oops. There we go. And then we'll let the city run for just a minute. Send garbage trucks. Yes. <laughs> funny I have replanted trees over here like 50 times and <laughs> they always die out because if you look at my uh, uh, my air pollution map it's just it's so dirty and I even have these two scrubbers here to try to help out what we're actually putting out into the rest of the area nah it just <laughs> <laughs> all this city has half a million people though it's pretty crazy as far as traffic. It's kind of fun to build, though. Alright, that should be enough time. Let's switch over to this city. Oh, damn it. I should have switched over. Alright, that's, that's fine. Let's go to this city. Let's claim our um, our money. We'll go to the other industrial city, send some more money and some more whatever we feel like, and then we'll, and then we'll come back to this city and continue running it for a little while. Oh, there's a little bit of update to my stream time, and I'm probably going to have to go through and think about it, um, but I'm going to end up being, you know, working uh, a, a bit more um, recently, so I'm going to have to um, maybe do three days a week instead of five or something. We'll see here. Look your tunnel wrong road. Oh, this one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Because the tunnel... Oh, yeah, see the tunnel I didn't get either. There we go. Thank you very much, Boo Boo. <laughs> Oh, and Mr. Play, this city, um, and, and I'll give a recap for anybody who's not been around for the last couple episodes. This is going to be our um, ca casino, commercial, roadside, high wealth city. Um, I'm actually going to, I'm going to do something I've never um, really done for a city, and that's try to focus the casinos on high wealth. I've always kind of just relied on low wealth to fill in the gaps and not worried about it, and I'm, I'm really, fo I've really focused these casinos on high wealth. Um, this one does have some medium and a little bit of low. Um, it's just kind of there for filler to make sure we make enough money. But it's starting to make money. This one is starting to lose less. And this one... Oh, it's closed currently. Okay. Got to get some more people in. But we should have... Yes, so just from that one city, we have our garbage all collected for, from today. So that, that's excellent. And they'll take it away from this city. And honestly, even though it's like a touristy city and you'd think there'd be a ton of trash, it, it, tourist cities don't really make that much trash. 
Like it's it's not like Omega where you get extra trash because you're you're Omega or because you know in this case you'd be a tourist. But these are making lots of money, which is good. They seem to be basically full most of the time. Uh, where's my? I always lose this third one. There it is, because it looks like a normal building. Still haven't gone over our 30. We're still at 30 grand in the hole. And let's check this, see how people are upgrading. Pretty well. I think we've got some things starting to turn green, getting ready to expand here. Got a couple that I already have. Yeah, a couple up here too. Uh, Mr. Play is asking, is it worth it to get the new trash stuff with Cities of Tomorrow? Um, I have had, and, and actually I've seen similar experiences on on YouTube from watching, like, uh, Skystorm videos and stuff. I've had nothing but trouble with the garbage atomizers. I did it in another city of mine over here, but they, they just don't produce as, they, or I should say, they don't reduce your garbage as quickly as the other ones. And they're supposed to do it faster, but, but for some reason... They don't, and I and I don't know why. So no, I would stick with the regular if you can, as far as you know, trash burning. The now the futurized garbage trucks. If you futurize the road near your garbage dump, then nah, those those look cool. <laughs> huh? Earn fifty two thousand a day. Made fifty two thousand. No, I guess I, I have I'm losing fifty two thousand right now. Well, because of our bond we're making money, but we're actually making money in our city specialization now. Yeah, I need to uh you're right, Tommy. I need to, to let these guys upgrade. And in fact, maybe since we're... Oh, we're at negative seven grand. All right, good. We will back these taxes off to zero. I'm not making a ton of money off of them anyway. Hey there, Chody Wolf. Welcome to the Twitch chat. I know I was talking to you on, on Origin a little earlier. Lots of clicking... I need a quieter mouse. Actually, what I really need to get is uh, either a headset or a shotgun mic or something that, that's going to focus more on, on me than, than on, you know, my typing or my clicking or my fish tank that I need to, to change the water in still. <laughs> Still got a lot commuting in. A couple unsatisfied, but I'm not worried about that. Wow. Everybody's commuting in. Nobody's using my community college. I haven't checked on that yet. No. Pretty much everybody in my city is educated. Oh, yeah, Tommy, if you have access to the, this one, the big lizard, um, disaster, is if you just keep dropping him next to your trash, he'll just keep eating it. <laughs> the scroll, oh, the scroll wheel for, yeah, yeah, uh, Mr. Play has a good idea, a good suggestion if we could use the scroll wheel for taxes. Um, I, I mean, I, I like the buttons for just, you know, one increment or something, but yeah, if you're going to do big adjustments, let me scroll, or let me click and hold, or give me a slider or something like that. I don't know. 
I suppose 99% of the time, though, you're pretty much just adjusting your taxes a little bit by a little bit. See how these people are getting happy now? Yeah, got some green starting to fill in. Let's check on our transit here. 13,000 a day from buses. Most of them tourists, but we do have some residents coming in. That's good. I, I wanted to see some people commuting in, even though it says, oh, I guess they're just my, my guys are riding them. I guess they're not commuting in. But the tourists are. Uh, yes, Tommy, you can totally add me on Origin. My uh, name there is the same as it is on Twitch and YouTube and pretty much anywhere else. <laughs> How about streetcars? We only got 2,000 riders a day. Pretty much all the low wealth tourists are riding them. But this definitively tells me that it's low and medium wealth tourists. Which is, eh, good and bad. We don't have any trains even in the region that we can use. Wow. 59 minutes for wait? We have... Wow. There's just so we have so many boats. How can they even be waiting? <laughs> Hello, View and Alpha. Welcome. Uh, oh, we didn't check our we didn't check our planes. Two thousand passengers a day. All right. Oh, and medium wealth do come in through here as well. That's cool. And actually, with this airstrip here and all the planes coming in here, there's like, and the airships, and there's, there's kind of a lot going on as far as air travel goes there. Let's put the, uh, oh, I kind of wanted to put it close to this, this bridge, but. Can I tuck it in somewhere? I kind of want it to help some wealth, and this is supposed to be my medium wealth area, ish. Um, so let's just do that. Let's let's actually put it right over here in the corner. There. And that was actually enough to spur a little bit of development. And why? This is the one issue with zoning on the side sometimes. As you get buildings like that. Totally not the way I wanted it. Welcome back, Boo Boo. Sorry to hear you had internet issues. That will happen from time to time. You want to just let it grow for a minute and something. I, I can grow something else there. The same problem here. That one looks like it grew in correctly. Which, in fact, I can just do this and this, and it'll fix itself. I mean, it'll stay fixed. And upgrade City Hall. See, we're definitely going to need our Department of Tourism. Uh, uh, fix a couple more of these. And in fact, we'll just take this one out altogether. this map. <laughs> Normally it doesn't happen quite that bad for me. Uh, 
Wow, okay. Well, it'll grow in eventually. There we go. Oh, I see Chodu if you say I used so I never You said I never told you I was streaming. Sorry, I didn't I kinda thought you had known. <laughs> That's why you were messaging me. <laughs> Still losing money on our high wealth casinos. Although we seem to be getting a good amount of high wealth tourists in. Same over here. I mean we have plenty of high and medium wealth tourists that are lodging. They're not staying, or they're not gambling. Hmm, why are you not gambling? The low wealth tourists are gambling. So I guess really we just need to somehow get more high wealth tourists in the city. And I guess part of the answer to that is some parks. Mm. Alright, I was hoping that would actually add more than it did. Maybe I can fit two of them in. Sometimes it'll let you eh, add one on, but it didn't there. Let's just do it this way. Ah, that didn't add hardly any land value. Well, that was not irritating. <laughs> Should I put a couple of these down? Man. Alright, it might be difficult to get some land value in this city. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're thinking, Boo Boo, is I should put more lodging in these? Because I don't have as many gambling. Maybe I should. And I definitely need more high wealth lodging, so okay, let's do this. Let's take this one out. And... I should actually take all three of these out. And put one of these up here. And put this in the corner. And put this up against it. And then maybe another one of these. So I still have a ton of room for gamblers. But now I have twice as much space for lodgers. <laughs> Tommy, thanks, man. You just followed me on a bunch of stuff. Alright, so... I'm hoping that helps that casino out some. And we can put more commercially in then. Uh, let's check on our other services here. <clears throat> Doing fine on water, sewage, power. Good. 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 And good. Alright. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. What about students? Hey, we got the vast majority of students going. And then otherwise, we're just trying to upgrade our... You know, have more, more and more people come in for as, as far as tourists go. See how that's doing. Let's 
it's quite a bit of draw into the city. A bigger map, maybe. <laughs> oh, unless you mean a, a 16 slot one. Yeah, those are those can be fun. <coughs> Not enough room to increase density. What? You have plenty of room. Weird. Oh, we got a sideways one here. So everything is going up to medium density now. I think we can bring our taxes back a little bit. Let's bring them up to... Uh, let's bring them up to 987. Which is still two ticks lower than normal. Oops. Or three. No, that's still three ticks lower than, than they can handle. Uh, no, Tommy, I do not play Minecraft. It looks like a, an interesting game, but I never took the time to, to get into it. I like freeform games, but I tend to like a little bit of structure to it. Like, SimCity has goals that I can kind of go after. You know, I can specialize my city in this or that, but I'm not building, building the city block by block, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so this one's actually making money now. So far. Because we're actually almost filling our capacity here. It's very good. How about this one? Still making good money. We could probably add on some some more low and medium wealth lodging on this city. So or on this this one. So let's actually take this out. And we'll do this. Oh, serious? Alright, we're gonna have to take all these out and re replay them. How's that overlapping? What could that possibly be overlapping? Basically redoing this whole friggin' thing because it says it's overlapping. Lying to me. Yeah, see, oh, it was the other one on top of here that said it was overlapping with. Which is stupid because I can put one up here, can't I? Or maybe not with the sign. I swear to God, I've built these before. Yeah. Okay, so just not with the sign? That's kind of weird. Oh, I guess that's the way it works. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I swear to God. <laughs> Parlor. And I'm thinking maybe I don't have this. Does that actually look okay? Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Because then it would let me do this on the back here. Hmm. 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 
And then we can put this on the front here. Like that. That looks good. Yeah, see, it filled right up with the, the medium wealth lodgers. Let's check this one out. This one's still losing a lot of money. And we probably need to do the same thing to it, but there's not... Man. There's not anybody staying there. Whereas we're almost maxed out on our lodging and our... Yeah, see, this one's doing great now. This one, not so much. Alright, let's redesign you. Do one of these and one of these. One of these and one of these. And can we just put two of these in front too? Hey, there we go. Oh, I can only have six on this one? And the other ones let me do eight. Some of the other ones. Alright. Then I guess we can only put one of these in. Which means maybe I move the celebrity stage, like down here. I don't know, because then it's overlapping. Damn, alright. I guess we'll just put that in there. And then, we'll do this. Not a lot more larger capacity, but some. Hopefully that'll help it make a little bit more money. And Tommy, you are in fact nearly right. It's been 58 minutes. <laughs> so I'm actually going to call this an episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. In the next one, we're going to go uh, over to our other industrial city, steal a few more cars and a little bit more money maybe. Um, and continue growing this city and trying to attract all those high wealth tourists. So, hope you've enjoyed. And as usual, if you want to watch what I do live, you can follow me on Twitch and you'll be notified. If you want to watch what I do after the fact or watch the whole thing as one big long thing, it's a technical term, then, then you can uh, watch, watch it over on YouTube and I uh, you can subscribe to my channel there to see when I post new ones. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will catch you next time.